and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Bilgewater Elusives. It's going to be a different deck here. This is going to be a Championless deck, right? So we played some different versions of Championless Elusives decks. This time we're taking these I the Ionia Core with that and splashing Bilgewater for some different cards. Um, we have a, a nice pump spell, permanent pump spell in Pocket Aces. We have um, Zap Sprayfin that will uh, be able to draw a spell for us that costs three or less. And we also got Scrapshotted, a nice big removal spell. The Sprayfin's pretty nice in this kind of deck. This is going to be an important one where it's going to be elusive and it's going to be drawing our specific spells like Pilfered Goods, another Bilgewater card, Pocket Aces, Retreat, Twin Disciplines. You know, it's getting some good spells for us all the time. And it's elusive. Um, this deck is going to be trying out two cards that just got nerfed in the latest balance patch. Uh, balance patch 1.5. It's only been live for just a couple of hours. Uh, just about two hours or so. Uh, Pilfer Goods now costs three mana. So we'll see how that goes with this deck. And now Solitary Monk is a 3-3 instead of a 4-3. Definitely thought that Solitary Monk should have been a 3-3 for a while. I'm very glad of that change. Uh, we did just play another Pilfered Goods deck with the Heimer Fate deck, and Pilfered Goods did look kind of awkward at three mana a lot of the time, but we're going to see how it goes here, because that's that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. We're testing out um, the new cards that just got nerfed, see how well they can still play, and, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so we'll, we'll be playing some labs tomorrow, but today we're finishing out another cool-looking donation deck. All right, uh, the code for Sejuani Frostbite is going to be this one right here. Right there. Okay, so we're playing against the Noxus deck. I'm going to mulligan these two for sure. Maybe mulligan Twin Disciplines as well. Um... I think about Twin Disciplines. What's our mulligan at? Moonlight! Aw, oh, thank you, Moonlight. Thanks for the resub. Three awesome uh, months there. Oh, and then Tog Togrek. Gifting out some subs. That hits our sub goal today. Cool, we're gonna have some bonus stream then. We'll play we'll play some labs right after this then. To kind of try them out. Thanks to Tograk. Okay, I'm not gonna pick up. I'm not gonna play the conspirator because I don't want the conspirator to. I don't want to block the Legion Grenadier with the conspirator. I'll just block it with that two one. We'll save this two mana, and big reason for doing that is that now that we have Solitary Monk um, coming in here, we don't have to pick anything up. I have my orders. We're not attacking for as much. We don't get to fill for goods <laughs> this turn. But I love that we drew this Concussive Ball. That's a really important card. Okay, they just have that thing. Uh, should I use Concussive Palm on that? I was gonna say, like, if they go Bacillus Grider, we definitely need a Concussive Palm on that. Bacillus Grider. Um, we could still do it to this thing here. Yeah, 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 we still do this. Um... They'll never see it coming. The hunter, if I must. Damn it. Because then I'm going to go Conspirator, pick that back up. Which is pretty nice. And now we have Concussive Palm available again for their next attack. And... Shadow Assassin... 
do wish I had one more mana and I could have Twin Disciplines protect. The party has arrived. As wind, light as air. Coming in hot! This has been some nice, like, offense and defense combination. Taking five. Just gotta vote for one of those aggro. You know what, Cabo? You know what you should do? You should just put. You got you got some some space. Just put Time just put for the money a bunch of those. I don't know if you can fit all of them. Just put a bunch of them in your donation deck. You're here all the time, watching, being in chat, everything like that. I'll, I'll play more than one. I'll do that. The order rewards its faithful. Ooh, pocket aces. Alright, so this is nine, so they have to use removal, and I have one I have a twin disciplines to protect against removal spell. So uh, I like our chances. That deck doesn't play very much removal. So they'd have to have two removal spells. That's not super likely. They do have two removal spells. That's kind of their only removal spell is Noxion Fervor, right? That's the only one. I have two of those. That's really unfortunate. Party's over. War is no game, brother. Really hope this works. If they have, if they do have transfusion, then they could uh, still be in this. But he'll be back. He's too stupid to die. Sneaky. Probably use the spinning axe. That's okay. I will trade Conspirator for the Crimson Disciple plus their last card in hand. That's fine. And this should be over now. All right, GG's. GG's, wanna know? That's a good win. That was a good win. Our hand was really good, it matched up well. You know, things things went really well for us, but that's a, that's a good win being the Noxus deck. That was pretty cool, the Concussive Palm plus Navori Conspirator. I liked that combo. That was a good one. 
GG's. I wonder... I think we have two Concussive Palms in here. I wonder if this should be three Concussive Palm deck because it has the Retreat as well as Navor Conspirator and how important uh, Concussive Palm is against Noxus, which is a really, a really big deck right now. Fizz is like, I'm an elusive, why am I not in here? I would have blocked there. I, I'll trade Green Glade Duo for Blade Scout. Maybe that's uh, naive of me, maybe that's a trade I shouldn't be making, but I would have made that trade. I decided to, instead of playing that out with no protection, I decided to play it out with being able to have Twin Disciplines as protection. Say that just opened me up to get excited. They'll never see me coming. Tread lightly, strike hard. Hmm. No removal over there. One girl wrecking crew. Faithful. I'll take that. So th it costs a lot of mana, but the Pilfer Goods turns into a 2-2 elusive that also has drawn us these two cards so far. That will also turn into another 2-2 elusive, elusive that will draw us another card. It's going to cost a whole lot of mana, but that one card slot is going to do a lot of work for me. Come, take refuge. Love it. That looks pretty cool. It's pretty tricky. Been super impressed with Concussive Balm with Conspirator Retreat. Super impressed with this Concussive Balm. Okay, okay, I will recall. I will retreat. I don't know, maybe I should just be using Twin Disciplines with the plus zero, plus three. Balance favors you. Things as they truly are. The dark beckons. 
Okay, that's pretty good. I can take down Vi. Let's see, right now we're at five mana. Five damage. But we still have a ton of cards. They don't have as many cards. It must be done. Grasping claws. Eat this. We're not that close to dying. They're about to level up Shen. All they gotta do is uh, attack and Shen levels up. Yeah, Shen Vi does sound like a good combo, doesn't it? Have I played a Shen Vi deck? We no, doesn't look like it. All right, let's see. They are under my no. No, it doesn't look like it. Honestly, I should be bouncing the one mana two one, shouldn't I? Swift and silent as the breeze. Yeah, I should be I should be bouncing the one mana card. Can we have one more mana? We have two twin disciplines available. I should have bounced the one mana card. This would have made life easier. Would have had an additional two. Damage out there. Okay, well, they just had more Mystic Shots. One may have been a win in a previous time with Pilfer Goods costing two and me doing four damage with that Solitary Monk a couple of times. That maybe would have been a, a win the turn before. Would have had like an additional two damage and would have been able to play an additional spell. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't I don't mind the solitary monk. I don't think it feels too weird. The pilfer goods is what's kind of feeling weird. It costs a lot of mana. We had tons and tons of cards, we just didn't have the mana to play everything. Did have tons and tons of cards. Ooh, spider aggro coming back. Thanks to one. Yeah, that's true. That would have been a great deny game. We have three denies in our deck. That would have been a great deny game. They had the deny that really helped them win the game of denying my concussive palm. That was huge. Opponent's playing Braum Lux, so playing some Poros. Uh, Solitary Monk or not? Go not. Yeah, the plane supporters. No. That's not what I want. Magic. Dang. That's pretty great. I was planning on denying their six mana card, but you can't deny Aurora Porealis. You can't outrun justice. Let's move. Down to ten. The solitary monk nerf was necessary. That was a that was definitely a good nerf. 100%. The pilfer goods has looked a little awkward since the nerf, but you know, haven't haven't played it a ton yet, but it's been looking a little awkward. Oh, this thing's not going to survive still. Ugh. Mage Seeker Persuader is just great. This is one of the, the most underrated cards in the game. Too awkward.
turn three was the play that obviously hindsight's 2020. Going back and looking at how this game played, I wish I would have played Solitary Monk on turn three instead of um, the other card and had that 3 3. Mage Seeker Persuader is really good. Two mana, four, three, Challenger. Awesome. It just, it fits so well in with double spelling with other stuff, you know, like do something big, you do something big, and you're like, okay, breather, we're good. And then, yep, you know, they just got the two mana left, and then boom, four, three, Challenger, and you're like, oh no, I'm not good. Yeah, only cost two. Not a 4-3 challenger all the time. You have to play a 6-plus cost spell. And I was, like, set up, like, ready for, like, some good defense of thinking, okay, well, we're going to... We're, I'm going to be holding down this fort and keeping them from playing. I walked into that. I walked into that. Keeping them from playing a 6 plus cost spell with this deny. This deny is going to be awesome. And then, no, everything's burst speed. Can't deny anything. Nothing escapes my watch. There's always a way out. For the homestead! No, honestly, the the only thing, in my opinion, I think they've still just kind of messed these up. I think the Black Market Emergence should still be a 2-2. Two -two. I think Pilfer Good should still cost 2 mana. The thing that they... All they needed to do to change it and make all those cards completely fair is just remove Black Market Merchant's cost reduction. Just remove that. And everything else would have been just fine. But for some reason they refuse to do that. Which that's the thing that really is the problem of being able to draw cards that are cheaper than what they're supposed to be. And being able to play a lot cheaper things, especially when you start stacking them. That's the problem. You know, you have two of them out, they cost two less. Three of them out, they cost three less and stuff like that. I don't understand why they won't just why they wouldn't just get rid of that. Cause like it is a draw two for three mana, which Which that's not bad, but it's a draw two that you not only but then you also have to jump through hoops for it to draw two with the with the plunder. And you don't even get like you can't really build around it because you're not even getting your cards. You're getting like random cards that your opponent has. And they're not even champion you know, like you're not even drawing towards champions, right? So you're not it can be two mana. Just black market merchant has been the problem the whole time. Keep up, keep up. I forgot we had that card. Completely forgot we had that card. A storm approaches. I don't think I like Pilfer Goods with this deck. And honestly, I don't I don't think I like this deck more than Nox, Nox's version. Our Pilfer Goods are just routinely 
four. They not only cost three mana, but... With how our deck style is, our deck style doesn't just want random cards, and we're just getting random cards from our opponent, and it's just I don't I don't want any of them. I don't think our deck benefits from random cards. Yeah, yeah, you had this deck before before both of these nerfs. And so yeah, you said you haven't you haven't been very impressed with three mana pill for goods. No. And that's good, that's what we're doing. We're testing stuff out. Um it's it's good learning, you know, like how would we know without uh, without testing stuff out, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's much more of like a, a Twisted Fate Lee Sin deck that wants just the random cards. This deck, not so much. Still just forever away from killing them. They're at 18. What are we doing? I like seeing Green Glade duos. Let none disturb my meditation. Everything's better with company. This is you. 
Oh, I'm not gonna be able to play Harrowing plus Pocket Aces. A new era begins. Love it. Playing that instead of Harrowing, pump up stuff so they don't die to Withering Whale. Yeah, I mean, they can still have Ruination. That's just... It's just how it goes. Can't can't beat everything. But yeah, my plan was harrowing go for lethal, but I liked having access to Swift and silent as the breeze. Fast as wind, light as air. To that instead. I think taking out the Pilfer Goods is where I'd want to add a champion, just not sure which one to add. You haven't had a lot of success with Zed recently. Maybe Misfortune then? Eternal Winter! A wickedness breaches the horizon. Just pick stuff back up. I just... I just feel the Noxus version of this deck is just doing the same thing, but just much better. I haven't really been happy with these Bilgewater cards. Like Imperial Demolitionist, Crimson Disciple, like that combo is awesome. You know, with, with this stuff and then you get extra burn removal with like Noxion Fervor. Um, and Transfusion, of course, being really good. I just don't feel like these Bilgewater cards are are holding up. Sprayfins looked really expensive. Pilfer Goods has looked really expensive for what you want them to be doing. They picked the wrong row. Don't worry, I've read all about this. No, we couldn't. We couldn't even stay. We couldn't stabilize with Harrowing. If I cast Harrowing, we lost. We had four blockers. They had six attackers. Plus, we were taking eight from just attacking from Anivia. This card hasn't looked good, Pocket Aces. I thought it was already including... No, the Monk was going to pick up one card, right? Like, it was going to go Kindly... I guess we were going to gain three life, though, because it was going to go Kindly Tavern Keeper, Monk was going to pick up Kindly Tavern Keeper, and then it was going to be those other cards, I thought. Oh, no, because it would go Windfarer Hatchling first, wouldn't it? So, yeah, actually, would have had less. No, Monk with Harrowing is not a combo. Because no, whenever this goes into play, you recall all your other allies that you got in before it. So no, those two do not work together. Okay, so they're drawing a whole bunch of cards. I'm going to pass. I know I'm not attacking and doing any damage to them, but they just drew a whole bunch of cards that are all fleeting. They have three fleeting cards. So what do they... If they want to pass back to me, sure. They just get rid of those three fleeting cards. That sounds cool.
Like this, this honestly is a, a pretty good play by me because then they're forced to do other things. If they want to get rid of all their cards, they can. Okay, so they did other things. That's my resting face. They'll never see me coming. They picked the wrong row. They'll never see us coming. And so since they did, we'll do a bunch of damage. Where if I would have just played my stuff first, we would have let them use like the removal spells that they drew. Ah, oh, they had a rummage. But they had Mystic Shot. That was one of them. Made him discard Mystic Shot. That's good. It's always good. Yeah, that's true. Sump works map. Can't be a problem. They only had one mana. Right then. I don't even need to do that. Looking for this. I'll take 12. It's not that big a deal. Just holding up Deny to protect Greenblade Duo, basically. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Yeah, yep, I'm excited for I'm excited for old school spider aggro. Definitely. Um hmm. If I will of Ionia my own thing, the the jinx goes away and I get another green glade duo. I think I'm gonna have to will of Ionia one of their champions, most likely. Everything's better with company. Says you. I will play my part. Alright, well we put him down to two now. I brought my books. Hope that's alright. Study into practice. This fucks trouble. My right ticking. Good. Good draw. Because they'll have Super Mega Death Rocket, and we're going to counter Super Mega Death Rocket. That deny was a good draw. And then. Uh, it's definitely not over because they're gonna have level because they get to draw two cards because of Jinx. Their Twisted Fate's at six, so they level up Twisted Fate. I guess you can win them. Blue 
as the serpent. All right, deal two. GG. That was close. Master. That was close. All right, so that was good to try something new there with the Bilgewater Elusives. Um, Solitary Monk should just be a 3-3. Obviously, it hurt us being a 3-3, but I think, thought it was still a reasonable card. And I think that was a really good change. Pilfer Goods at 3 mana looked really costly and just didn't really look like what this deck is all about. Uh, you know, like this is a pretty linear deck that has like a... A strategy that it's trying to do and pilfer goods getting the random cards there's just most cards from opponents decks are going to be cards that we don't want so yeah it didn't look great um do i have the noxus elusives on here yeah i just like this version a lot more crimson disciple demolitionist is still just a you know that's a busted combo especially when you get to pick it up with your conspirators and retreats and stuff you know picking up Demolitionist over and over again with with that stuff with solitary monk and conspirator and retreat and that kind of stuff is just pretty amazing at closing out games you know to go along with your Ionia cards. I was really impressed with deny. Deny did look good. Um, There's you know multiple times that we drew deny and I was like yay, like that was like the card that I wanted. Um, but we also saw um, against the Poro deck, us sitting on deny. No, wrong, wrong card, wrong deck. There we go. Us sitting on the deny and them having the burst speed stuff with back to back and Aurora Porealis and that kind of stuff that we couldn't counter and turning on their Mage Seeker Persuaders anyway. Um, but it's good to try out new stuff. And so, uh, as far as the champion goes, you know, you're talking about like maybe replacing Pilfer Goods with the champion. Tough to say with this deck. You said you haven't really liked Zed. I don't know if like Fizz would fit in here. You'd have to if you would play Fizz, you'd need to start playing. You know, you'd have to work your way around Fizz. You'd have to like start playing Warning Shots as well. Um. Yeah, I don't know if this this would really be a Fizz deck. Maybe Misfortune, but you're not really wanting your opponent to block very much, so it's not like. Misfortune's really doing a ton for you either. Maybe Yasuo. Maybe you have Yasuo and focus just a tad bit more on Stun and Recall. I did like Concussive Palm a lot. But... Yeah, I don't know. Gangplank at the top end? Does attack for a bunch? A 5-5? Five five? Meh. Yeah. <laughs> But no, it's all yep. Always good to try different things instead of just saying, "Oh, I like I like this deck." You know, like this this you know this Nox is elusive. This is good, and I'm just going to keep playing it. You know, let's let's do it. Let's try different things. You know, let's you know push the envelope, and uh, not everything is going to work out, and that's okay. That's a good thing. It's good to good to try. You know, I I would have never known how Zap Sprayfin would look with all the uh, with all the elusive units if we wouldn't have played this. So. Good to know. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you've been trying out um, kind of on the edges of the metagame, too, that you've been uh, just, you know, trying things out and uh, learning and exploring and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, leave those comments. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Bilgewater Elusives, and I'll see you for the next video.